So I have rebuilt the form that allows clients to post jobs to the job board on the Unicorn Factory. Let's check it out. Hey friends, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name's Connor. I'm the founder of the Unicorn Factory, a freelancer marketplace in Canada and in New Zealand. So on this channel, I share tips and tricks on how you can build your own no-code marketplace using the same tools that I use to build the Unicorn Factory. So one of the big items on my to-do list for this quarter for the Unicorn Factory was to update the form that allowed clients to post jobs to our job board. So up until now, I have been using Webflow forms to collect all the information that a client wanted to post to our job board. But since we are now getting a lot of job postings every single month, I've decided that I wanted to switch away and use a different type of form builder that allows me to collect payments. So Webflow has done the trick up until now. There are definitely a few little limitations, but just in terms of getting something out, Webflow was perfectly fine. But now it's time for something new. So after weeks of researching all the different form building tools, talking to different people in the no code space to figure out what tools they use and what limitations they run into, I have finally committed to a tool that I now have used to rebuild the form that allows clients to post jobs to our job board. So before I get into what tool I chose and by what criteria I chose that tool, please do me a quick favor, like this video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, it means a lot, makes me feel good. But without further ado, let's get into it. So before we get into it, I wanna quickly give you a before and after of the two different forms to show you how they have changed. So right now we're looking at the listing form on the Unicorn Factory New Zealand, which is still the old form. I'm gonna be keeping that there for a bit to see how two types of forms differ in terms of conversions. So I built this entire form using Webflow forms and it really has done the trick. It's allowed me to do things like drop downs, mostly text field. Um, I haven't been able to collect um, rich text, but um, just the way that clients would fill out the project description form would work perfectly fine. And this has really worked in terms of what I've been trying to achieve with the site up until now. So uh, a big limitation that I ran into and why I ended up deciding to research different tools is that there was no real easy way to take payments using this form. I did have a little look into Webflow e-commerce, but the work involved with it just didn't seem worth it at the time. So I decided to opt for a new form builder. And the tool that I chose for the new listing form is JotForm. So JotForm um, won the race. I'm gonna go into details as to what other options were out there and why I ended up going for job form But I just want to start off by giving you a little bit of a tour through the new form. So the form has conditional um, Visibility which means when certain fields are clicked you can display or hide certain elements Which is quite a fun little feature to have you can also drop logos and images in here Which is cool. I think technically you can do the same thing with Webflow as well And there are a whole bunch of additional tools that you can integrate into your forms inside of Webflow but JotForm does this natively. Another thing that I really liked about JotForm is that it breaks the different forms into different stages, which makes the process of filling out the form a lot more digestible. So one thing that they have that's quite cool is a rich text editor, which means you can allow clients to really add bolded things. They can attach images, links to certain types of things. And that was something that I couldn't do inside of Webflow forms. So a, a real key difference between all of these um, for, form builder tools and Webflow forms is that you just have a lot more options in terms of the fields that are available to you. But the one thing that really did it for me was that I can now charge for clients posting jobs to our job board. So I have um, three different listing types that give you specific features or privileges. And then I also have a little add-on feature and that automatically calculates the price for listing a job on the Unicorn Factory. And then what a, someone can do is they can just add their credit card details and the payment will automatically be made to my Stripe account. So I'm really happy with where the new listing form is now. It's very good that we can now start charging for jobs being listed to our site. It's been something that's been coming for a long time. So I'm very happy that we finally got it all set up. Now in the lead up to picking job form, there were a few other contenders out there. So I just wanted to give a little bit of feedback on what my key criteria was that I was using to decide what tools to go with and why I ended up choosing job form over the other options. So before I started to really set out what the key criteria was that I was going to judge this by, I had six form builders on my radar. So the first one was Webflow Forms, which meant that I was just going to leave the form as it was, maybe make some slight little adjustments, but the key benefit of doing that would be it would be no additional work, but of course that also meant that I wouldn't be able to take payments. The second option that was on the table was using Airtable Forms. Now the thing that I love about Airtable Forms is it integrates directly into your um, Airtable base and 
that is really good. So I use that for the freelancer application form and what makes that really good is all of the information that a freelancer submits is automatically in the correct format inside of my Airtable table. Now again, the problem with Airtable forms was that I couldn't integrate payments and I also couldn't really customize any of the branding which was another factor as well. That left me with the classic standalone form builder tools which were Typeform, Jotform, and then I also looked into two more tools which were called Tally and Paperform. So whenever you use no-code tools to build certain things, you're always gonna run into limitations one way or the other. So one thing that I always recommend doing is setting out a list of your top priorities in terms of what you want your tools to do. So in my case, the absolute top priority was to be able to take payments. So that automatically removed Webflow forms and Airtable forms, but all the other tools were allowing me to take payments. The second thing that was incredibly important was having a good Zapier and Airtable integration. So all of the remaining tools have their own native Zapier integration, and some of the tools even have a native Airtable integration. So one of the things that you can do with JotForm is whenever a form is submitted, you can automatically send that data to Airtable without having to go through an automation tool like Zapier or Integromat. And then the final criteria was just to have a look at how much flexibility I had with the branding and the styling of all my different forms and how I could embed it into my website. So pretty much all of the dedicated form builder tools did what I really was looking for. So what I then decided to do was to see how easy it would be to learn all the different tools. And so what I did was I jumped onto YouTube and I saw what kind of tutorials were already available. And then I also had a look into the template gallery to see what kind of templates I could use as a starting point. So obviously JotForm and Typeform are probably the two main form builder tools that are out there. So they had a lot more YouTube videos available. The template galleries were a lot bigger. So I decided to narrow it down to those two tools. So because JotForm was a bit cheaper than Typeform, I decided to give them a try first. And as soon as I started using it, I started to discover that the whole process of building a form and styling it was a lot easier than I had initially anticipated. So another thing that I discovered with JotForm that was quite cool is they have these widgets that you can embed into your different forms. And I believe that those widgets are created by their customers. So you have a whole bunch of add-ons that you can add to your form that allow you to solve for a whole bunch of use cases. One of the widgets that I discovered was a payment widget that allowed you to collect payments through Stripe and that again was one of the key criteria so that was really good. One thing I discovered though was when I started working with those widgets it got a bit complicated when it came to setting up custom formulas. So luckily I found someone online who was willing to help me with my job form and basically set up the payment form as I wanted with the three different listing options and the add-on field. So once that was set up I really had the form at the state where I was kind of wanting it to go so I was already feeling quite committed to it but then one thing that really pushed me across the line was the one day discount that they offer you when you start your trial which basically means that they give you something like a 30 to 50 percent discount if you commit to their annual plan on the day. JotForm was already quite cheap so I decided you know that little sweetener made it even easier to commit to it for a year so I ended up upgrading so I guess now I'm committed to JotForm. So one of the things that I was also looking for which was just really a very very nice to have that was completely unnecessary was to have a way to use all of the fields that I have set up inside of ear table as a drop down inside of a job form. Now that is not natively possible inside of job form. You can however use a tool called onto ear which integrates with job form that allows you to pull those values out of your ear table tables into your forms. Now when I did my research that tool was pretty expensive in my opinion. However it is something that at least gives me options for the future and if the job board generates a lot of sales then that might be something that I'll look into as well. So besides all of those things that make job from really good. I also discovered a few things that I was struggling with a bit and a few limitations with the tool that I want to address in case that factors into you deciding what form building tool you want to use. One example of that is the project description field where I allow my clients to add rich text. It turns out that that rich text doesn't actually pass through through Zapier which means that it's kind of pointless having that rich text field inside of your form in the first place. So what I mean by that is that any styling that a client applies through the project description field won't actually pass through to Zapier and you can therefore not pass that through to Airtable, which means you're really left with two options. Number one, don't pass it through at all and just copy and paste it out of the confirmation email that they sent you, or just pass through unformatted text, which oftentimes ends up looking pretty bad. Then the other thing that was kind of a bit of a pain with the Zapier integration is with the different select fields, it actually passes through the entire label. So whenever someone selects the 
free listing form, it actually passes through the entire text instead of just a value that is associated with one of your options. Now that makes it very difficult to automate certain types of workflows without beforehand reformatting everything inside of Airtable to fit certain drop down fields or certain multi reference fields. So that just adds a whole bunch of additional time that you need to spend on reformatting things inside of Airtable and ultimately what I am working towards is automating the entire thing. So I hope that that is something that gets addressed in the future so that I can then integrate it into Airtable a lot cleaner so that I can then start setting up workflows that allow me to basically run the job board side of the business on autopilot. Overall though I think it was a very good decision to switch over to JobForm to replace the old classic Webflow forms and to now be able to take payments that will create additional revenue streams for the business. I am however though still keeping my options open so if you have any suggestions for any other form building tools then please let me know in the comments down below. I'm happy to try out a whole bunch of different ones and I feel now that you know what my key criteria is and what I'm looking for and what the use cases that I'm solving for you might know of a tool that is a better fit than job form. Other than that thank you very much for sticking around for this video. I hope it was useful. If it was please smash the like button, subscribe to the channel, all those fun things. Other than that I'll see you back for the next video.